Hello. Uh, right, what I want to do is I want to show you this guy. Um, this guy is called Dave and he has a site called noticeandvaults.com noticeandvaults.com and he does a lot of tutorials uh, with Arduino and um, I'm not sure if it is something to do with the libraries or, or anything like that but he's he's wrote a script here and he's put it on his website and you can download it and I think he can make some sort of donations to, to this guy or whatever but maybe just watching him on YouTube giving him a like and stuff like that you know just goes a long way I, I'm mentioning him because the project that I'm showing you is is all based on this is his code and his videos and his software. Um, I wanted to get into Arduino's. A friend introduced me to them a long time ago, and um, you know I thought it was about time I got into to stuff like that. Um, what I'm looking for at the moment is a specific point in the video which I've just uh, just found. Uh, this is um, so. These are essentially what what my little front panel is down there. Um, they're just switches, micro switches. There. Um, so he's using two through twelve. Yep. Right. That's what I need to do. I need to build my MIDI output circuit. Need my MIDI jack? Well, I'm not using a MIDI jack. Well, I am, but I'm not. So I'm sh I'm showing you this. You know, it's a bit tedious. You're watching another YouTube video, and I'm talking over the top of it. But this is just what I need. So pin five on the jack. Pin four will be to five volts, and then the middle one will be ground. Yep. Now that we have a plan, we're ready to start. Yeah, now we have got a plan, we're ready to start building. But my plan's a little bit different. Uh, I've got these up here, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And then I've got this. So I've took a little cheaper uh, MIDI interface apart. Um, I might be sticking that onto the, the front panel of that um, and making a LED part through. Uh, but what I want to find out now is the colours for and um, what pin this in is going to on here. Um, now I washed out. I've got to hold my hand up and I washed out. I've got a nice um, thin tipped uh, soldering iron, but I don't fancy soldering them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a little bit of Vero board, breadboard, or whatever you call it. Um, and then I'm going to take them connections to my Arduino and then I've got a little bit of a start um, yeah uh, I need my resistors in there so what I'm wanting to show you uh, what I wanted to show you was uh, how I'm going to do that I've got a, a multimeter here um, and it's set to diode mode uh, which is there and he's um, got that little he's got a musical noise he's, uh, Probably a semi quiver or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, so, that means that it's going to make a sound and it's going to go to note when the two probes touch, which is going to be difficult because I've got everything all over and uh, yeah. So, I've got my camera charging, I've got stuff. Um, Going on. So what I'm going to try and do is put this on here. Yep. Come under here. Right. So if I display and try and move this a little bit closer so you can hear that. When that's touching. Yep. So I need the media in from this. Which I've got. And then I'll touch the relevant pins on here to what I want to find out where they are on this, the, the diagram that this Dave uh, from Notes and Vaults has put on. So, um, 
What might make things easier? The crocodile clip. Would that fit? Just so. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace uh, this end with a crocodile clip. Freeze up my hands. Um, you know, everybody needs a pair of hands. I don't know where that came from. Um, so yeah, what this is doing is that end is now on the ground pin or pin number two of that MIDI connector that I want to use these cables for. Uh, because this is a little breakout board, a little, a little Molex connector or something. I, I call them Molex, but so I'll just touch these on here and when it makes a sound, hopefully. Okay. That's touching on more than one, it's touching on three, so there's something wrong there. Unless... Okay, so I think the red is pin two. So pin five, which needs to go to the transmit. It's coming up the same again. Okay. Yeah. So this is where I switch camera off, pull my hair out, and um, yeah, I just wanted to be brief to show you how multimeter works and the relation to my project. And uh, yeah, this guy Dave, nuts and bolts. He, he's everything. He's, he's, I couldn't have done it without him. So uh, check out his website, his YouTube, and. Do some of his projects are cool.